What we do see among the detailed personal revelations, losing his virginity in a field behind a pub to an older woman. I am shocked, shocked. Well, not that shocked. How's it going everyone? It's The Natural here and I am back with another video on the channel and I am back for Season 5 of Timur this month in review. The show that is every single thing that happens in a month goes into this show. So, without further ado, what has happened in the first month of the year, that is January of 20? Everybody starts the year with positivity. Everybody has New Year's resolutions. Everybody, you know, usually has goals and targets that they set out for the year. But there's one person so far this year has had an absolute disaster 2023, and that is Andrew Tate, as he got arrested. The Matrix has attacked me. The next day. I'm gonna get you out of here! I'm gonna do everything it takes to make sure you get out of there! You don't belong in there! The many people out there who have heard the name Andrew Tate, mainly from what he's been saying about toxic masculinity and many other ridiculous and sometimes just things you think did he actually say that sort of thing? People call him an influencer, I more call him an entrepreneur. Or he's pretty good at when it comes to speaking what he actually thinks really. He's blew up with some of the most ridiculous and some of the most bizarre ridiculous things you can actually think of really in terms of how to you know treat women, his mentality when it comes to business models and other things that he has done and said and, I, and he used to be an ex kickboxer as well so you know he used to he's no he's very good at knowing how to kick people in the face but I'm not going to go in depth about Andrew Tate in terms of his life and stuff like that and you know etc etc I'm just getting into the sort of thing that he's been accused of recently which is obviously human trafficking and he was arrested in Romania and how he got arrested is absolutely just hilarious. I, know I saw this during Christmas and I was like, there's no way this actually happened, but it did. So how he got arrested was Andrew Tate literally got triggered from Greta Thunberg on Twitter. There's a whole tweet going around, of, I think it's actually one of the most popular tweets of all time. It's got over 3 million likes. Maybe more than that now, maybe four million or whatever, of Andrew Tate literally, you know, saying something about, oh, I've got a Bugatti car, I don't care about, you know, the climate change and global warming and things like that. Obviously, Greta Thunberg saw the tweet and she was like, said small dick energy or something like that, which was hilarious. And then obviously, because Greta Thunberg got under, under Andrew Tate's skin. Andrew Tate just couldn't hold it, just couldn't hold it in, you know. He just had such a grudge against the fact that this woman had the audacity to even think of coming after him, sort of thing. He responded with a tweet and showed pizza boxes. Which, obviously, the Romanian police obviously saw, hold on a minute, he lives in Romania. He lives in this sort of part of Romania and obviously raided his his place, arrested him along with his brother Tristan. They're still in obviously custody and they could be looking at huge, enormous, massive jail time for this. What Andrew Tate has literally done is human trafficking, which is literally getting a bunch of humans, trafficking them in and forcing them to work for him. Mainly 
in his ridiculous, with just pyramid scheme, university garbage, which is his webcam business, along with his OnlyFans stuff and other sexual things that he does on that pretty much makes him money from. And it opened my eyes in terms of just the way this man operates, you know, in terms of he's not, he seems like the type of guy that doesn't like being told what to do sort of thing and that's obviously the reason why he left the UK to go the way to Romania because he just likes being free. He likes to be just going around thinking I can do whatever the hell I want sort of thing and not actually think well there are rules Andrew you just can't just oblige it you just can't ignore them you know that everybody in life has a set of rules that you have to guide to you can't steal you, you can't rob you, you can't do what you've been doing you get to Andrew Tate minions you absolutely love this guy who literally donate money to this ridiculous pyramid scheme that he does which is oh pay 50 pound a month for a discord server to literally know how to text to women, how to sleep with women, how to do this, that and the other, which is a lot of rubbish because how, why would you pay money to how to text a woman? I mean, maybe someone can like me how that makes any sense because I actually laughed my ass off when I literally saw that. I'm like, no way is someone paying money how to text to a woman. Like at the end of the day, how do you even know the woman is texting you? Sort of thing. It could be one of Andrew Tate's cronies, for goodness sake. You know, it wouldn't let them surprise me, sort of thing. But in all seriousness, this is like, human trafficking is not something to just you know joke about. It's a real massive, huge issue that does need to be raised awareness on. A hundred percent. If you, if Andrew Tate has been accused of these allegations, has been accused of human trafficking and rape and many other things that he has done to women and to his you know colleagues that pay that are part of his stupid ridiculous webcam business or stuff like that then yeah 100 percent he fucking deserves the crime he deserves what he's come what, what he deserves what's coming to him sort of thing but we'll wait and see and this is still like i said ongoing investigation we may have to come back to this andrew tate controversy that's been going on around him recently maybe in a few months time when he's actually been accused or if it's just you know the matrix has got him but at the minute he's been arrested and it doesn't look good for him YouTube have made some changes to their community guidelines and I would say right now they're absolutely bizarre. What's our motto here at YouTube? Sincere servants with a smile. Well, yes, but with the YouTube spirit. Now Squidward, you wouldn't want to have to talk to human resources. 
would you? So, what's our motto again? Uh, uh, sincere service with a smile! I, I'm at a stage now with this platform, you know, I've been doing YouTube for such a long time, I've been doing it literally coming into this year, 13 years come October, you know, so I've been doing it for a long time. But the way this platform is going, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. You know, I thought YouTube removing the dislike button was out of absolutely madness. I also thought YouTube with the ridiculous, insane policy with thumbnails in terms of, oh, you can't even show legs because people, because they think it's sexual or something like that. But right now, you can't even swear on YouTube. You can't even show horror stuff in the first eight seconds of the, of the video. You can't even swear in the first eight seconds of the video. It's like, YouTube, come on. And what angers me, really, as a creator who makes content for you guys, is the fact that they don't even explain it. Don't even come out, maybe in a video or in a whatever, in a tweet or whatever, and say, look, we've got changes coming to the platform this year. We're going to do this, this, this. No, they come out with these stupid copy and paste damn tweets or whatever statements, and it's absolutely ridiculous. It's like, it fucking angers me so much. Because I love YouTube. YouTube has given me so many skills and qualities in life. It's given me like confidence and, well, I mean, I was a shy kid, literally. Before I was on YouTube, now I'm a different beast. I'm a different animal. You know, I, I evolved into, I was like a little Charmander sort of thing before YouTube. Then I evolved into this fucking Charizard sort of thing. Worst Pokemon reference ever, but you know what I mean. I've had, you know, mates of mine who used to be doing YouTube and they don't do it anymore because they're, they're fed up with the fact that YouTube constantly keep doing these ridiculous changes. And they're off doing their own thing. And I, I know actual creators who are now thinking of because of these new changes and their channel just getting, you know, demonetized left, right and center. They're thinking of, I'm, I'm just going to another platform. Maybe go to Twitch and just stream what I want to do and stuff like that because I don't, I don't, again, again, I understand because it's, it's ridiculous to say the least. The fact that you literally can get a demonetization just for a swear word. I'm sorry, that's just petty. Beyond petty. I know we're talking about, people talk about council culture as much as I don't really like council culture, but to get, to literally get a demonetization for a swear word, I'm sorry, but that's got to be one of the most ridiculous, maddest things. I have ever heard this platform done. But then again, they removed the dislike button. It's YouTube. They constantly keep making these effing mistakes all the time. Scientists have come up with a massive, incredible discovery. By giving pigs bionic boners, it can help men with injured are you joking? Oh my god. There has been some incredible discovery over in China with a bunch of Chinese scientists coming up with this incredible experiment that is they can give pigs bionic boners can help men with injured trunks. Ah! I like the fact right now we're just in the start of the year first month of 2023 and we've already got our first mass just our first mad hilarious and quite frankly bonkers story this year how a sport called ping pong helped this man with parkinson's disease the game of ping pong seems to be helping some people with Parkinson's disease. Robin Seltzer is one of them. Well, it actually was, how could that help anybody? Seltzer was diagnosed three years ago with the brain disorder. His symptoms were so bad he could barely get out of bed. Then his doctor suggested ping pong. Now Seltzer plays every Tuesday night in River Edge, New Jersey with other Parkinson's patients. So far, he feels it works. When I start up, I'm a little stiff. My shots are a little bit off. My timing's a little bit off. And I'm a little bit frustrated. And then after about 15 or 20 minutes, suddenly things kick in. Now he wants to train for the world championships. 
So everyone else today I have another video on the channel and the end of another Timur This Month in Review. My first video of 2023 is crazy the fact that this is the 7th, well on the day of this recording, the 17th of January and this is my first video of this year. Where does the time go? Hey, If you think that scientists giving pigs bionic boners to help men down below if they get injured is quite frankly the bonkers mad story that you've seen of this year so far then just lean back and hit butt that mf like button you can also follow me on my social media platforms link is just down there in the description i hope you all have an amazing day or day stay safe and healthy too please like subscribe the natural is out